Hi everyone, Amy Love here, and I am coming on today to share with you the goodies from Angel Dream Crafts Kim on Etsy that I will be playing with in the month of May. I'm so excited to show you. I also wanted to thank all of you who have left me comments about some of the sound quality on my videos. I have been struggling with that. I think I've got it um, fixed. So if you don't mind leaving me a comment and let me know if um, you can hear me okay. Because I know in some of the videos you can barely hear me and I apologize. So I'm hoping that that is remedied. Just let me know so I know if I need to look into it further. <laughs> so let me show you what I am going to play with this month. And I'm going to start with this because I'm so excited. Because Kim hasn't had these in the shop before, but she has them now. And they're amazing, and I love these. I absolutely love these. These make such a special addition to any project. They're just beautiful. So these dangled pearl flowers are now available at the shop. And of course, you can find a link to the shop in the description box of this video. And it's Angel Dream Crafts Kim on Etsy. So I also got some more dangly appliques which is so fun you know I need to like have something so I can hold this up for you so you can see it isn't that beautiful look at all the sequins and beading and then these dangles like I almost want to cut the applique and use them on things and then just cut off some of the dangles to pop in places which is probably what's gonna happen that's probably what's gonna happen and then there's this one I love this one she's had this one before it's just so beautiful and I love to cut out this middle part and just pop an image in there it's gorgeous gorgeous so there are these fun um, pearl dangles available in the shop which I'm so excited about so let me see if I can put them a certain way so you can still see them while I'm showing you all the yummy other yummy bits <clears throat> that I received so I got this beautiful um, is that the right way yes this beautiful edging trim isn't that pretty they're like big feathers what they remind me of so you could cut them off individually absolutely and pop them behind things which is probably what I will do but it will also make like a lovely <clears throat> edging trim around an image or on the edge of a box so so pretty so I got that lace and then I got oh I love this one it's like little shells it reminds me of little little shells which is another great edging trim right it, they're just so pretty but you could also with these chop these off individually and tuck them behind things they're just pretty so I love the versatility of her laces they're gorgeous and almost all of them are great for snippety snipping oh, Oh my gosh, this little trim. I haven't had this in so long. I love this little edging trim because it's so dainty. It looks so um, great around images. That's what I do mostly with this one. Isn't it so, so pretty? I love it. Thank you for the edging trims, my friend. You know I was getting low. Oh, and oh, there is some lovely pink trims here that are just amazing look at this it's so pretty and what I'm probably although this would look really pretty around a box or um, as a belly band in a journal I think I'm gonna probably end up using it mostly by cutting them off into indi individually um, to pop out from behind some flowers and stuff I love love this trim and now let me show you how long these little things are so this trim is a good two and a half inches wide. Just beautiful. Just beautiful. And then there is another very lovely pink lace. It's so pretty. It's not like an embroidered mesh. I'm not, I don't know. You know, I should know my materials by now, but I don't remember what this one's called, but it's a little shiny. You see that shimmer? and it's um, more closed knit than tulle 
you know, because it has the edges that will fray, fray really nicely. But it is embroidered. Isn't that pretty? Oh, I just love it. So what I'll probably do is cut this part off because I love to take this and then kind of ruche it up to add texture onto things. And then I'll probably um, use this as a trim on its own. Maybe make some flowers because the scalloped edge really makes great flowers. So that <clears throat> is a beautiful, beautiful pink. I love these shades of pink, by the way, Kim. Amazing. And then I got this dangle. Look at this. Hello. This is beautiful. And these dangles are so long. So let's see. The dangles themselves. The dangles are three inch long dangles. That's amazing. So the entire trim is six inches. That's fantastic. So you could definitely cut these uh, bottom off and then use this trim for something and then have the dangles super cute and yep that's the right way oh what a look at all the dangles i love it so that is a nice bunch to work with right there absolutely gorgeous and then this y'all this i'm absolutely in love with it i'm in love with it look at how look how big this is this is over a foot Yes, it is. But there's so much material here to work with. So what I'll probably do is cut this top part off and then use it, um, pleat it up like I like to do maybe on um, some page edgers or toppers or on a snippet roll or something like that. And then what I'm probably going to do is I might cut off the end and use the scalloped as a trim, but then I am just going to snippety snip I mean, this is like snippety snip goodness, goodness for months. <laughs> I mean, there's so much here. I mean, oh my gosh. And that's just a half a yard. And there's like amazing, there's so many amazing bits. So I'm guessing, no, that's a whole yard. All right, I had to hold it up. That is a whole yard. So I guess she's selling it by the yard. I don't know. I have to check the store, but there is a link to the store below so you can go check it out. But there's like um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of these big appliques on here. I mean, that's amazing. So this is just going to keep on giving. Keep on giving. I love it. And it's so pretty. And it's just gorgeous. Kim, I love it so much. And so then she also sent me some bling. Yes to the bling. So I saved the bling for last so we can admire it together. If I can get it open. There we go. I found it. And also, can we just talk about how cute the little bag is? Adorable. Absolutely adorable. All right. Oh my gosh. I'm going to show you them one at a time because they are so pretty. Yes to the new bling, Kim. It's gorgeous. It's so sparkle. The sparkle is amazing. I mean, can you see the sparkle on that? It is just gorgeous. And I feel like with my light, you might not be able to see. Let me show you one. So it's the pink pearls surrounded by these just gorgeous rhinestones and a rhinestone in the middle. These are so pretty. They're metal. They're flat back. They're gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. The bling is amazing. So let me put these here. Gosh, they're so pretty. So pretty. Okay, and then let me show you these. Oh, oh Kim, these are gorgeous. So I assume they're coming four in a set because that's how she sent them to me, but you have to check the store to make sure. Look at, look at the sparkle on that. I can't with the sparkle. It's beautiful. So these kind of look like a rose gold or maybe it's just gold. It looks a little different on the screen than it does in my hand. But look, please excuse my gardening fingers. <laughs> it's like you don't know how bad your, your hands and nails look until the camera's like up close and personal. But these are beautiful. You can see all the pearls and all of the rhinestone with that little um, acrylic flower with the rhinestone in the middle. These are absolutely 
beautiful. They're stunning. The sparkle on them is just stunning. So let's put these out and these are amazing. The sparkle on your bling is amazing, girl. Absolutely amazing. Are, is Doug polishing these up for you? They're absolutely amazing. <laughs> I mean, they're just so pretty and what a precious flower center these would make. Look at, they're just <laughs> so sweet. So I'm very excited. I am very excited. Um, I'm actually leaving town in May. I get to go visit my kids in Oregon. Yay! But I'm hoping to get a couple projects done in it um, in advance so that my videos are, are ready to go. And I hope that you are all doing well. And thank you for stopping by. Please leave me a comment below and give me a thumbs up. And I will see you guys on the next one. Bye, everybody.